Nurmagomedov is undefeated in his pro career. Picture, Getty Georges St. Pierre is the only fighter capable of beating Khabib Nurmagomedov, but only if the lightweight champion is prepared to move up and fight at a heavier weight. That is according to Nurmagomedov's former teammate Josh Thompson, who trained alongside the UFC lightweight champion for years at the American Kickboxing Academy in California. Nurmagomedov is unbeaten in 28 fights and at 31 years old, could feasibly retire undefeated in his career. Tony Ferguson, who was booked to fight for the title this month before the coronavirus pandemic put sport across the world on hold, has been tipped as the man to finally beat Nurmagomedov but Thompson shot down any hope his former opponent had of stopping the champion. I really don't see anyone in the 155 pounds division, Thompson told Metro.co.uk. Read the latest updates, coronavirus news live the only one I'd bring up is Patricio Pitbull, Bellator's lightweight champion, and that's only because he's so small, he's short. Advertisement advertisement Patricio has got the power and speed to get in. Khabib has a hard time with guys who are fast and we saw that with Michael Johnson. Pitbull is the champion of Bellator's lightweights. Picture, Getty Johnson is also longer. Patricio is not a big guy and he is physically strong. Khabib had a hard time getting shots on Ali Quinta because he sat with a very low stance. He has good wrestling and takedown defense. Khabib had a hard time getting in at him because he was so short. Patricio is shorter than him, he's physically strong, he's got speed and power. When, Patricio, fought Benson Henderson and Michael Chandler, we saw, he knows how to fight bigger guys. Speed will always play a factor. I would still lean towards Khabib a lot. With the worsening health crisis, Nurmagomedov is not expected to fight again until September at the earliest. More, UFC if Nurmagomedov beats Ferguson. Whenever their fight may be, he will have triumphed over each of his long-standing rivals in the UFC. Thompson predicts Nurmagomedov will make a clean sweep of the division and would only taste defeat if he moves up in weight. I think the only guy is at 165 pounds or 170 pounds and I want to see Khabib go in there with and fight to GSP, Thompson said. Advertisement advertisement that'd be the fight that would break all pay-per-view records in the world, it would destroy. You're talking close to 3 to 3.5 million pay-per-view fights. GSP is a two-division champion, picture, Getty San Pierre returned to retirement immediately after he beat Michael Bisping to claim the middleweight title and became a two-weight champion. GSP said this week he feels no urgency to return to fighting. But Thompson is convinced the Canadian legend really wants to be a three-division champion. And rather than try and make the lightweight limit, Thompson believes the best fight between GSP and Nurmagomedov would be to open a new division. I think the best fight is at 165 pounds, he said. Nurmagomedov was booked to settle his rivalry with Ferguson. Picture, Getty if it's at 155 pounds then GSP loses. Khabib is used to fighting at that weight and for GSP to get down to that weight he'd pretty much have to cut a leg off, Khabib has been keeping his weight under control. At 165 pounds, it makes it very interesting. At 170 pounds I would make it a 50-50 fight, but I would probably lean more towards GSP, that extra 5 pounds is a lot. Especially when you're dealing with someone as top-notch as GSP. He's just next level. You put him in against Khabib at 170 pounds, I would lean towards GSP, at 165 pounds I would probably say it's 60-40 for Khabib. That's an extra 5 pounds that GSP would have to cut and they'd probably be around the same weight on fight night. Advertisement at 170 pounds GSP would be heavier. He knows how to carry that weight and Khabib has not fought at that weight. He added, 
If you were ever to open a new weight class and bump 170 pounds to 175 pounds, that would be the weight to do it. More, The Rock warns UFC heavyweight Francis Ngannou, you ain't ready for me. More, Khabib Namagamadev provides update on his next fight after UFC 249 cancellation follow Metro Sport across our social channels, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For more stories like this, check our sport page. Advertisement Advertisement Let's Block Ads. Why?